Today, in Madden 24, I've built the best NFL team of all time. Essentially, this team has the best players at every single position on one team. And the goal for this perfect team is simple. Go 20-0 and win the Super Bowl. At the quarterback position is obviously the best quarterback in the game, Patrick Mahomes. Then at the running back spot, it's the trio of Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb from the Cleveland Browns and Derek Henry of the Baltimore Ravens. At the wide receiver position, it's 99 overalls like Justin Jefferson and Tyreek Hill, but also with CeeDee Lamb and Amon Ross St. Brown. At the tight end spot, you know it's going to be Travis Kelsey, but it's also going to be George Kittle. Then it's the best offensive line ever constructed with Trent Williams at the left tackle. At left guard, it's Joe Thune and center Creed Humphrey from the Chiefs. And then at right guard, it's Zach Martin and Lane Johnson in at the right tackle position. And this defense is headlined by superstars like Micah Parsons from the Dallas Cowboys, TJ Watt from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then obviously Chris Jones of the Kansas City Chiefs. So here's what the offense looks like on one roster, and here's what the defense is looking like all on one roster. And we will take on the Detroit Lions in week number one. But look at the abilities on the field. There is not one player on the field on defense that does not have an ability up against a Lions team that basically nobody has an ability because we took Amon Ross St. Brown from them. If we lose a game, we're going to have a problem, honestly, because this team should never lose a game. They have the best players in the world all on one team. It wouldn't make any sense. But hey, maybe they need to work through the kinks here and then they'll hit their stride in the middle of this game and then for the rest of the season. If they need one drive to work out the kinks, I'm okay with that. Come on, pick up Jared Goff, get a sack. Someone get to this man. That should have been picked off. You are kidding me, Sauce Gardner. I mean, he dropped an interception right there. I don't know how he doesn't catch that ball. He was wide open, basically. Jared Goff threw the ball to him, put it in his hands. And then that time it's broken up. Okay, we give up three. But when I said that we gave up three, they missed the field goal. So it's actually 0-0. Defense doesn't give up any points. So shout out to them. And now it's time for the offense to go to work. And Mahomes down the middle. He was looking for Tyreek Hill to take a plea. I can already see it. We are going to go 19-0 all the way to the Super Bowl. And then we're going to lose to the Cowboys because it's Madden. And Travis Kelsey, there's no way. Kelsey going to go for an 80-yard touchdown. It doesn't matter who's on Mahomes' team. He's going to hit Kelsey for touchdowns. Please. How are they putting up points like it's nothing? How are they putting up points like it's nothing? Please stop this team from scoring points. Okay, make it a 28-14 to 14 game. I feel comfortable now. We're in the fourth quarter. Don't make this stressful. 35-14. to 14. We shut them down. Okay, they scored one late, but that is okay. We are 1-0 on the season. Well, it is a different story here in Jacksonville. We were dominant the entire game with a 49-14 win with this best team of all time. This game was easy here in Kansas City as we dominate the Chicago Bears 38-10. Well, the New York Jets gave us our toughest test yet, but we still win by two possessions, 35-24 as Mahomes shakes hands with Aaron Rodgers at midfield. This Vikings team has no Kirk Cousins and no Justin Jefferson against this defense. Good luck even with them. It's third and 24 now. Sam Darnold might as well take a knee. You may as well take a knee. Darnold just throw it away. That is fine. Let's watch this offense score. Hold on a second. It's actually third and 10. The Vikings defense is showing up against the greatest offense of all time. But then Mahomes strike over the middle. Hello, CD Lamb. Favorite receiver this far is going to make a nice catch. Question is, will it be three points or seven points? Third and two. We're going to go to Nick Chubb, I believe, up the middle. And Chubb is actually stood up. They're going to be fourth and inches. Let's see if they go. With Mahomes and this team, you're obviously going to go for it. Andy Reid's like, are you crazy? Of course, we're going to go for this on fourth and inches. What is the play call, though? Ball will go to Mahomes. Mahomes actually pressured and picked his first interception of the season. When we jump in, that's crazy. Still 0-0. The Vikings actually get the first touchdown of the game. But we get the next two to make it 14 to 7, make it 17 to 7. And I think that's all we're gonna give them. 24-7. Sam Donald can get a late garbage time touchdown when the backups are in. But we're back on track after that pick, starting 5-0. And, oh. and now it's 6-0 and oh as we beat the Broncos 35 to 14. More easy work from Mahomes and the Chiefs as we win this game 45 to 17. And we will be 7 and 0. We shut down the Broncos easily for the second time this season to make us 8-0. and oh. We are now 9 and know as we destroy the Dolphins without Tyreek Hill. With the Chiefs bye week being in week 10, we are 10 weeks through the season at 9-0. Let's check out some more stats. In only 9 games, Patrick Mahomes has thrown for about 3,000 yards, 
34 touchdowns to only one pick that we saw in Minnesota. CMC, even with the unreal passing offense, has 710 yards and five touchdowns. CD Lamb in only nine games is almost a thousand yard receiver with 834 and 11 touchdowns. And it's Dexter Lawrence who now leads the team in sacks with nine. Well, it's about time we jump into some more live gameplay here in week 11 with the Super Bowl 57 rematch between us and the Philadelphia Eagles. And this is the new look Philadelphia Eagles who have Saquon Barkley on their team. However, this roster is a bit outdated because they have a son Reddick on the team, but I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference when we're having Kelsey catch 40 yard passes, 30 yard passes. Third and two, we're going McCaffrey. McCaffrey actually going to get stuffed for no pickup as the son Reddick, speaking of him earlier, gets the stop. And are we kicking three? No, we're going for this. Fourth and two with Mahomes and this team. They got to go. Come on, I want to see a touchdown. I don't think we've seen one unless I'm forgetting this entire video in a live game. We have not seen a touchdown of Jefferson picks up the first to the five. Third and goal to two. Are we going to see a throw from Mahomes? Yes, it will be a throw. And it will be dropped by Justin Jefferson. How did he drop that? Are they going to go for it? Let's see. Are they going to take three? They're going to go for it. We got to watch. Fourth and goal. Can't believe Jefferson dropped that. You got Hill, Kittle, Kelsey, and Jefferson out there with CMC. And it's going to be George Kittle for the touchdown. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And the Eagles face the same fate as every team before them. Destroyed by the best team of all time as we're now 10-0. and zero. And we're going to simulate to the final game of the season. Let's hope we have a chance to play for the perfect season. And we're 16-0 with one regular season game to go. And let's see. Can we beat the Chargers to go into the playoffs undefeated if we oh my what a tackle Dexter Lawrence if we win this game we go to the playoffs win out it's the Super Bowl and 20 and 0 I guess I use slightly outdated rosters I messed something up when I was making it but it doesn't matter because this team's just too good I don't care who Justin Herbert has they're not scoring I also really want to see the stats for this team especially Mahomes did he pass for like 6,000 yards first time in NFL history the only time that'll ever be done he already has 70 yards in six minutes of game time and Tyreek Hill has three catches for 50 yards as we're at the five yard line already ridiculous this team is unstoppable if we don't win the Super Bowl I don't know McCaffrey, nice move, easy touchdown. Chargers actually got points on the board. It was only three, and then we get 21 to 10 of a lead here. 28 to 10. We're in the third quarter. It's 11 point game. It's not completely out of reach yet. 18 point game, and this one's done. We are headed to the playoffs undefeated. Mahomes threw for 5,311 yards, 57 touchdowns to two picks. McCaffrey almost 1,400 yards and 12 touchdowns on the ground. C.D. Lamb led the team in receiving with 1,280 yards and 14 touchdowns, but there were four 1,000 yard receivers. In the divisional round, we somehow face a nine and eight Steelers team. I guess these rosters weren't updated after all. Why is Kenny Pickett the starting quarterback? Instead of Broncos country, let's ride Russell Wilson. That is something I guess I'm going to have to fix going forward. But again, it doesn't matter who these teams have on offense or defense. They could have everybody else in the league. This team is going to dominate. There's no way. Don't tell me we're going to lose. It's only one touchdown. Listen, I'm not mad if we don't get a touchdown here. If we get a field goal, I can live with it because I know the touchdowns are going to be coming at some point in this game. Mahomes through an interception two all year and he picks the first drive of the playoffs to do that if we lose to Kenny Pickett I will delete Madden 24 come on 7-7 seven, seven. let's go get the lead second and 10 at their 16 Mahomes let's settle in here let's play good football like I know you can second and 10 from their 16 yard line it's got to be a touchdown here Mahomes over the middle, CD Lamb. And first and goal, they're going to put Nick Chubb in the game, and he'll walk in untouched for the score. First time we've really seen him in this video. And do we cruise to the rest of this game? 21 7. 27 7. In the third quarter, they got that lucky touchdown. They haven't seen the end zone since. It is a 48 to 7 win in the AFC Divisional Round. Two more games. And in the AFC Championship, it's the Buffalo Bills. And if you can't tell by now, yes, they do have Stephon Diggs and they do have Gabe Davis. These rosters weren't as updated as I thought they were. And James Cook, good runs on the ground. We're going to have to stop him. First and 10. What the Bills are doing is definitely more scary than what we saw from the Steelers because they got a lucky touchdown. But the Bills are driving down the field. It's a 62-yard drive so far to start the game in Kansas City. I don't like it. First and 10. 
Or Josh Allen. He's going to play action. He has a wide open man. Oh, not again. We need to match them, and we need to match them now. And then we need to start dominating. Mahomes, you score basically every time you touch the ball, so I'm not that afraid of that. I'm just hoping Josh Allen starts to play bad. For some reason, Allen is the Chiefs killer in the playoffs in Madden. Maybe not in real life, but he is in Madden. I'll tell you that right now, because he's beaten us multiple times in videos like this. Mahomes, what are we doing? A pick in this playoff game, too. Again, defense does clutch up, and we score a touchdown. Next time we get the ball, we get two scores. Oh, we need a touchdown here. Bills are trying to drive down the field. Or is that us? That's us, actually. 21 to 10. Madden is glitched. I don't know why that happens. We're fourth and goal at the one. We're going to be going for this, aren't we? Okay, if we get this touchdown, it's the dagger. In the fourth quarter, they stop us. They got a chance. I'm hoping we get in. Mahomes has Chubb in the backfield. Hills out wide, giving it to Chubb. He breaks a tackle. He stiffs arms a man, and he is in for the score as we take a three possession lead. Is it Hello Super Bowl? The Bills are actually driving a couple times, but it doesn't matter. 35 13 Super Bowl. Here we come. And the Super Bowl is a week one rematch Chiefs Lions. Mahomes, one more game, and you're officially the GOAT. If he wins this game, he'd be officially the GOAT. If this actually happened in the real NFL, obviously he wouldn't have these players. But if he had a perfect season, I'm sorry. As a big Tom Brady fan, Mahomes would be the GOAT. We really haven't seen Justin Tucker in this video. I put him on this team, but we might have to use him if we don't get any yards here. Okay, forget it. We're just going to get CeeDee Lamb. Justin Tucker might not have a field goal all year. First and 10. Are we going end zone? Mahomes, a strike down the middle. It's a Super Bowl gritty. Justin, Je oh, no gritty for Justin Jefferson. It's a team celebration. Regardless, it's 7-0. to zero. An insurance score here. 24-10. to 10. Lions aren't going away, though. We make it 31-13. to 13. It's going to be tough for them to come back against this defense. I think we're good to simulate it. 38-13. 20-38. Come on. They're driving again. They're not going away. They don't get any points. It's 41-27. to 27. The Super Bowl and the perfect 20-0 season has been completed. Mahomes is now the GOAT. No questions asked after a perfect season. The Lombardi making its way to the podium as the greatest NFL team ever assembled. Headlined by Patrick Mahomes with the Lombardi Trophy and Andy Reid coaching them. They will go down in history as the best team of all time. And it is time to lift the Lombardi Trophy to celebrate the perfect 20-0 season. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.